This is my preview of the Warrior Samurai S9500 HS High Speed. So, I just got this from the Electric Winch Shop in the UK, and I don't have an English accent. Got a high lift jack too, um, which uh, from my my buddy's got a Chinese one, and I gotta tell you, there's not a heck of a lot of difference between the actual high lift and the Chinese. Of course, the high lift will say the difference. Maybe the actual castings themselves uh, are harder, but um, so if you're gonna do heavy load, you probably might want to go to go to the actual high lift. If you're just gonna be lifting your uh, light four by four like I am, uh, you might not need the actual high high lift, and the the Chinese will do. Oh, it's probably all made in China anyway. But anyway, so this is actually the 36 which is a nice uh, size for my Suzuki here. And uh, I got the actual high lift rubber band thing. Okay, those uh, mud racks are from uh, somewhere else, so never mind. So, the cable on the thing actually has... The cable on it actually has a strange... Um, it looks, in this video on the iPhone here, it looks very... Uh, looks very shiny, but the a in actuality... Uh, let me see if I can get that on the black there. Can you see how it almost looks like it's been uh, sitting in the sun a little bit? I don't know if that's the nylon or if it actually has been sitting in the sun. None of the plastics are discolored or anything like that, but the, the rope has a strange um, whiteness to it. Uh, maybe it's just the dye doesn't sit well. Very nice hook on the front of this. Um, you can see, very nice hook on the front of it. But then there's the problem with this. Let's just, I'll just give you a quick comes with all your mounting hardware, basic mounting hardware, nice heavy steel bolts. They don't look like grade 8, but uh, they do look of a high quality. The actual, this took a bit of a beating coming in, a nick and a scratch, because it is packed with its bolts, which is kind of dumb. But anyway, let me just see if I can put the phone down and show you one of my problems here. Well, I, I only got one hand, so let's see. So anyway, you, you have to mount this on the car attached obviously, but then you have to slide it through this and let's just show you here. Yeah. This is going to take a lot of fiddling. A lot of fiddling to do it that way. However, I do want to rewind the entire spool, so what I'll just do then is I'll take all the cable off and um, mount the witch on the car and then mount the this thing on the car and um, spool it all back in that way I know it's nice and nice and tight and I'm not gonna worry about any slippage later on anyway so this is of a high quality it looks very nice uh, it is heavy I don't think it's actually CNC aluminum it might be tin I don't know but it is fairly strong has a really nice uh, finish to it however like I said it did come with some nicks doesn't really matter though because I'm going to uh, beat the crap out of it. So a couple of nicks just means it's been broken in. So I'm not, a, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if you're looking for a show Jeep, that's not, uh, that might upset you. But uh, in real life situation, I don't think that's a, I'm not going to give any uh, negatives on that. Okay, now on over here, this actually says in and out. However, it's kind of funny because if you put out, you can spool in. Or, or out. If you put lock the clutch to in, you can't spool out and you can't spool in. Well, I think I think by in and out they mean clutch in, clutch out. They're not actually talking anything to do with spooling, but and it does actually say clutch in, clutch out. So very nice clutch handle. Um, I don't think if I had to, I could change. Uh, this position to the front, but uh, I'm not going to take mine apart anyway to see if I can. This casing is probably screwed in from the back side. Um, probably, like I say, I don't know. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to find out, but I guess if I took it all apart, I could find out if I could change this to the front position. So I can't help anybody with that question because I'm not taking it apart. Um, the case, the, the solenoid case, standard solenoid case uh, with a plug 
on the very, very top, not mounted on the side. Uh, that I don't like necessarily. Water might get in there and sit on there, but it does have a very well sealing cap. I might throw some uh, lubricant across the top here to, to stop that from going in. The cables themselves are about a meter, maybe a meter thirty long. Let's just, uh, I'm going diagonal across uh, 30 centimeter tiles here, so uh, that would be 40, I don't know, I'm not going to do the math, 45 I'm guessing. So I'm thinking the cables are one and a half meter. Um, Pre-wired with nice ends. I don't know if these don't feel um, hex crimped, but they do feel crimped in some matter. So I'm assuming that's a pretty good solid connection, maybe soldered. Uh, but they're shrink wrapped, so I'm not going to open that up. The kit from the Winch, Winch Shop UK does include a 1,000 amp surge, uh, 1,000 surge amps uh, breaker with two keys. However, it doesn't include the extra cable to mount this to the AC, uh, the positive cable, and then then to the battery. But uh, that isn't that hard to do. Uh, those are some nice terminals I bought. These are stereo terminals, but that has nothing to do with the kit. Kit comes with six mounting bolts, which is strange because uh, there's only four mounting positions. Uh, it does come with a command. My command came already with a battery in it. The uh, kit also included an extra battery, which I think is kind of cool. The actual box underneath here, you can see it, it's kind of huge if I put my thumb there. It is a big box um, for such a simple purpose. Um, it does come with this rubber case which is sealed rubber all the way around except for the top the, I've taken it out it is a, a bit of a pain to take out so I'm not going to take it out again and uh, this this does the box itself just seems kind of basic I don't think there's much going on here I don't know why it's so big it does come with a safety strap so here's how it works you green light now you can winch in winch out and then red light uh, red to turn it off so on, off, left, and uh, in, out. We'll get to that. We'll actually run the winch in a second to see if uh, see how that works. Last thing, it does come with the basic remote. Uh, basic remote plugs in the top. I think that's a two meter, maybe three. Up, down, stationary position. Basic. Done. Like I said, there's the extra key. One extra battery. Good touch. Your manual, which is very uh, limited in information. So now uh, I'm gonna just let's uh, let's. Uh, I got a battery here. This battery is fully charged. Okay, let's just put that there for a sec. Hey, that's a bad video. Just connecting up the battery terminals. I'm actually doing this improper. I'm not putting any. Uh, you should actually run that uh, fuse breaker thing in there, but like I said, I don't have that cable. Hmm. Didn't even make a buzz. Hope she's alive. This is the very first time I'm plugging this baby in, so we'll see what happens. The cat's coming here to help me. Okay, so we've got it plugged in. Let's grab that remote. <clears throat> and uh, see if the cat jumps here. Hmm, okay, I don't want it all spool out on the floor, so here we go. Oh, I just turned it off. And we got red light, means danger. Holy crap, that comes out fast. Wow, that, like they say, high speed. When there's no load on this winch, it goes very fast. Uh, I shouldn't wind it in because I've now put pulled the winch just a little bit, but anyway, let's do it anyway. I'm gonna pull the whole thing out anyway.
yeah, that moves. Uh, I can say for a fact it is a high-speed winch. I've seen some of the other people winch out, and they're very slow. And uh, this winched in very quickly. I'll, uh, I'm going to be mounting this hopefully this weekend. And uh, let's just, uh, well, you know what? Maybe I'm going to try one more time just to give you another example. <clears throat> oh, now I've put the command under. There we go. Okay. So, here we go. So, uh, five meters, so it says that it's a uh, 20 meters per minute high speed, uh, so that's pretty good. Let's reel it in. Oh man, I've twisted it now. <clears throat> so, let's just turn it straight because I want to try to feed it on nice. I don't want to bung up my cable when I just get this thing going. <clears throat> All right. Let's scare the cat. One foot, two foot, three foot, four foot, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, just one more example, but this time I'll. Uh, All right, so as you can see, these are 30 centimeter tiles. We are a number away. Let's just see how fast this bugger goes. All right, getting bunged, getting messed up on the side of the spool, so we're gonna stop, but you can see that moves pretty quick. So, next video will be when it's actually on the Jeep. I'll uh, test it with some weight, not a lot, because I I want to make sure she works before I actually bog my Jeep down in the mud and give her a good test. But so far, I like it. It is a cheap winch, but it seems like it's the upper end of the cheap side. Uh, the actual gear housing doesn't look terribly different from any of the CTA winches. The actual gear side doesn't look any like, any, like anything different from the CTA. You can see there's no bolts, so adjustability is in question. The labeling is off. I don't know what that in out it means it should just be locked or unlocked but anyway that's just a lost in translation thing speed is good uh, I can't tell about true torque yet like I said we don't know until we actually put on the Jeep and pull her up command is of uh, basic quality I think any small actually you know what now I'm thinking about it any smaller you're gonna lose it that's a good size so when you're on the trail you drop that um, you're not gonna lose it in the mud so that's actually Maybe that's the idea. Anyway, so uh, I'll see you when it's on the Jeep. Ciao.